as stranded flood victims in the Upper East region are crying out for intervention. The victims who have since uh, disaster been left in the open fear the November-December cold period may have a toll on their survival without shelter. And, but officials of the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, say they are distressed and would be unable to provide any intervention. The Upper East region experienced torrential rains between October 6 and 12 this year, resulting in damaged houses and farmlands, culminating in the displacement of hundreds of people, including fatalities. The disaster management organization NADMO's record showed 2,222 houses were destroyed in the floods. Since then, most of the flash wrecked victims have been left homeless. This is what is left of 87-year-old Ayambiri Aburo. Now he's here with daughter and grandson. <laughs> I have virtually nothing left. I cannot rebuild now. My fear is the December cold weather. We, the adults, can manage. But the worry is our children and the aged relatives. Apio and Isaya, his three children and wife equally, had nothing left. They are only being compelled to sleep because they have a sleeping place. But it's not the place that they can sleep. They, 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 they prefer to sleep. But it's because they don't have a sleeping place. They will go there to sleep in the night and come back at the daytime. The teachers are always on them that they should pack fast, fast and go in the morning. With school in session, the displaced people say life is unbearable. But the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, says they are helpless. Instantly, NADMO will not have the capacity. Those who rush to the schools was as a result because disaster happened in the night. Charles Kowinyaba is an indigent of hard-hit Kasana Nankana area. When things happen like this, the person we've all entrusted our resources on have to come in. You and I pay taxes. Those people who are suffering pay taxes. So we need to put our hand in those emergency funds and find a way of supporting that more to be able to deliver these services. Because you can't just sit down close your eye, allow your people to die when there is a provision for that. So I think government need to come in, allocate a reasonable amount of resources for NADMO to be able to support these people. 